Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I will be talking to you about using side spin and back spin together in the same shot. I'll replace the 4 with the 5 because the 5 is brighter. Uh, so, back spin and side spin is a little different than just back spin or just side spin. Back spin and side spin is a combination that curves the cue ball a little bit before it gets to the target, especially if you hit the slope. So if we aim to make this ball, it will always curve to the right, since we're hitting low right. And you see how we overcut the ball. And that is due to a thing called deflection, uh, which means, I'll just demonstrate it for you real quick, I'm aiming straight on. I'm going to aim straight for this first diamond right here. And I'm going to hit it with so much right spin. You see how it goes off to the left. I wasn't trying to make that one ball. But you see how the cue ball goes off to the left? That is called deflection. When you use right spin, the cue ball goes off to the uh, left. If you use left spin, the cue ball goes off to the right. So you have to adjust your aim for that, especially when you're using backspin in the combination. So right here, this is a very common position shot where we need to make the one and get down there for the five. And I'll show you what it looks like real quick. It's a little fast, but you get the gist. Still a makeable shot. And to do that, let me show you the IQ real quick. Let me show you exactly where we need to hit. Usually, the contact point will be around these diagonal lines. Low right, low left. Somewhere along these lines. And you can purchase the IQ at IQClinic.com because this IQ will really help you know where you are actually hitting on the cue ball, and I'll explain more about that at the end of this video. But, you need low on this shot. You may just be like, Jaden, why don't we use just right spin? Well, this is plain right spin. This is what it does. It's possible to get there if you go two rails. Only if you can go two rails. If all of these are blocking right here, I know the four ball makes no sense right there, but just... Bear with me. If all those are blocking right there, you have a good chance of ending up snookered if you end up behind those. So if this keeps going, bam, 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 bam. Now, you have a tough kick shot on your five, which obviously is makeable, but that's still a fairly difficult shot. So let's keep that there. Now, the more backspin you use, the less it will hit the rail. Like, the further down it will hit the rail, or it won't even hit the rail at all. So if I use, like, plain backspin, it'll hit the rail right there and just move down. Move down real gently. And that was a little bit above maximum backspin. So if we use maximum backspin... Oh, we got unlucky with that hit on the point right there. But let's see if I can simulate it again and not hit that point. We got real unlucky with that hit. Still about the same result, just a little bit further down because we had max backspin. Uh, we could also go down further, just you saw we hit that point. So combination of backspin and side spin. This is a shot you need to practice. You need to get your speed down on this shot. You also need to know about the angle you have on the one, and that leads us to our next shot. And we can leave those blockers there. Let's say we are straight in on our one, and we need to get down for the five. A common backspin shot used here is with back reverse. So backspin and a little bit of left. And this is one of the few shots that does not take place around those diagonal lines. So a little bit of back left will be about right here. And we use that left to spin us off of this rail. Remember, when you're facing the cue ball, when you're shooting that way, if you need to spin out to the right, you always need left. And if you're facing this way, if you need to spin out to the right, you always, wait, if you need to spin out to the left, you always need a little bit of right spin. So, I'm gonna show you a few different combinations. This is plain back spin. So no side spin at all. You see how it kind of just dies out at that rail. Still a easy shot on the five. 
Now let's just do, let's do plain side spin. No back spin at all. Spins out to there. Makeable shot, very difficult. Missable by many, many pros. And now let's do the combination that I think we need. Uh, but I may be wrong, so bear with me. And look at that, perfect. Perfect, almost frozen to that rail, just about a ball away from that rail. And that leaves us with a real easy shot on the five. So you see that you need to hit fairly hard with a little loose wrist, but that shot I hit about right here. So if you take this one and move it down to where that B is, right there is where we contact the cue ball with a loose wrist and a good follow through. Uh, and that's used with straight in or almost straight in shots, but you need to watch out. Because if you are in line with the side pocket and you're using draw, you can draw straight back into the side and scratch. So that's something you need to watch out for. Uh, just know that left spin kind of pulls it to the left a little bit. So just keep track of where you are on the table when using that shot. Now we're going to talk about forcing an angle with backspin and side spin. So let's say we're on this one ball, and again, we need to get down for this two. Two's right there, and we have a little bit of an angle right here. And we don't want to go full out, draw straight back like that. It's, it's a good shot to play, leaves you a good shot, but let's just say that right now that option is blocked and you cannot get there. So. We're going to take our one ball back out again. You have that same option I showed you in the first thing. You can try to force it along here, and that's what we're going to try to do. But in the first shot, the difference between the first shot and what I'm doing now, the first shot we had an angle like this. So we actually had an angle, I'm going to hit center ball here, where no matter what, our cue ball went to the right. So no matter what spin we hit, our cue ball would always go to the right first. And now we're... Just a tad bit of an angle, the one ball and the cue ball line up into the pocket directly. So what we're gonna have to do is cheat the pocket, which means we're gonna aim to make the one ball on the left side of the pocket and use low right and hit really hard to spin it out in this direction. Because right spin will always bring the ball to the right. And you see now, we have a good shot on the two ball. Nice shot on the cue ball, almost straight in. So, all you have to do, let me show you the IQ exactly where we're hitting. So bottom right, to spin out there, we don't need a lot of bottom, we're hitting again, you see these diagonal lines are used a lot around this first ring. On the right of that first ring, right there, is where we are hitting and that kind of forces your cue ball over in this direction to make the two ball. I don't think there's many things you can do wrong with this shot. Only thing I can think of that you do wrong is you miss the one. Just because of how hard you need to hit it, the one may pop out of the pocket. That's too much draw right there, I guess you can do that. Uh, but if this were lower half of the table, we're blocked off for some reason, that's a shot you could play. Just a little bit of stun and a little bit of right English to bring it over there. And now, again, it's the same thing with left English. I don't think I should really have to explain this one much. I'm just going to show it to you once. We are almost straight in. We need to get over here. The left brings it out to the left. And now we have a good shot on our eight ball. Bang. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you guys are interested in improving your game with the IQ Training Ball, this is a great tool uh, for improving your spin and speed control and your repetition builds up your muscle memory. Uh, which is the most important part of pool. Your muscles need to remember how to do shots over and over and over again. And this is a great way that you can help that. 
So what happens when you hit this ball is wherever you contact it, a little chalk mark is left. And it's very clear to see, I shouldn't have said little, a uh, big chalk mark the size of your tip is left. And you can see exactly where you hit. And you can see if you hit where you thought you were hitting. A lot of people think they're hitting center, but they're really hitting like down here or somewhere. Uh, so this is a great tool. You can order one of these for $25 at www.iqclinic.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.